What is precision timing? In telecommunications, we refer to precision timing as a synchronization mechanism that allows the distribution of accurate time, or phase, over a wide area network. As you know, communications networks are geographically distributed systems, with each node separated by kilometers. The idea is that each of those nodes must have the same exact time, or precise time. The difference in local time between the node and the master, or standard reference, is expected to be less than 1.5 microseconds. This is called absolute time error. There are different ways to assure that all nodes know the exact time. For example, Precision Timing Protocol, or PTP, and Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, like GPS, are often used to acquire precise time. The answer to the question, what time is it, is usually a text message that tells the exact time of day, or TOD, just like this one. But, sometimes they are delivered over legacy serial ports, with data rates as low as 9.6 kilobits per second. Such message would take 27.5 milliseconds from beginning to end. So, when was 11.35 a.m. exactly? At the beginning of the message, or, at the end of the message? To make matters more complicated, you probably noticed that those messages are written in human-readable characters. Computers have to translate them into meaningful numbers. Something they can use to run calculations and control processes. That adds a few extra microseconds. But, when we say precision timing, we are expecting uncertainties of less than 100 nanoseconds. So, the time label itself is meaningless. We need something to tell us when. Like, now, it is 11.35 a.m. That is known as the timing signal. A 1 pulse per second, or 1 pps, that tells us exactly when, was 11.35 a.m. The rising edge of that pulse indicates the beginning of a new second. This is the foundation of the universally coordinated time, or UTC. Ideally, all the 1 pps pulses around the world would raise precisely at the exact same time. That is how distributed systems accurately synchronize their clocks with a high degree of precision. Precision timing signals must be very accurate and stable. If a pulse happens to be late compared to its ideal position, that amount of delay is called absolute time error or absolute phase error, which is measured in nanoseconds. The smaller the error, the more accurate the timing is. The pulse's position should not change much or wander around over time. How much and how fast it changes defines the stability of the timing signal. The smaller the wander, the more stable the timing is. Why do we need precise time? Here is one example. 4G cellular networks, like LTE Advanced and LTE DDD, use time division duplexing, which refers to using one shared frequency to transmit and receive. So, every mobile device needs to know when to talk and when to listen. If a base station or a mobile has the wrong timing, it may talk at the wrong time and interfere somebody else's communication. Back in the early days of Ethernet, this was called collision. Can timing really be delivered over asynchronous packet network? The answer is yes. You are probably familiar with NTP, which has been used for years to keep the time in our computers aligned with enough accuracy for all humanly needs. The telecommunications industry adopted an even more powerful precision timing protocol, or PTP, called the IEEE 1588 version 2 which can compensate for network delays and provide accurate and stable frequency, phase, and time over long distances. How do you know if the timing is precise enough? You can use VX products like the TX130M Plus and TX300S to compare the local 1 PPS signal against a GPS reference to measure the absolute phase or timing error, which indicates the accuracy. In 4G cellular networks, the absolute timing error at any base station must be less than 1.5 microseconds to assure glitch-free handovers to and from neighboring base stations. 
This same test can also monitor the timing signal over time to see how much it wanders and assess its stability. You can perform wander analysis on the recorded phase behavior. At the end, the 1 pps timing signal under test must be accurate and stable. What about local timing distribution? You may think that using GPS or 1588 PTP to bring accurate timing to a remote location is enough. But, that does not guarantee that timing would be distributed correctly. People with experience in frequency synchronization know that they can distribute the frequency reference using fiber or coaxial cables to cover entire sites or premises. Well, phase is quite different. Signals travel through coaxial or fiber cables at a rate of about 1.5 nanoseconds per foot. That is, 5 extra nanoseconds of delay for every meter of cable. If the site was wired for frequency distribution, cable length may not have been a concern. But, if you want that one PPS pulse to arrive at the same time to all the network elements that need to be synchronized, then you better think twice. Even at a small site, it would not be uncommon to find 100 meter or 330 feet cables. That would be 0.5 microseconds, and we are talking about a maximum of 1.5 microseconds total. End to end. So, do not neglect any of the cables. Including the GPS antenna cable. Even the two cables used with the test set should be of the same kind and length. We hope that this short tutorial has answered some of your questions. Subscribe to VX YouTube channel and stay tuned for more discussions on the topic of frequency, phase, and time synchronization. Thank you for watching the VX channel. Do you remember Matt Gaver from the TV series? Yes, what about him? He was an idol to the do-it-yourself movement. He said that you should always wear shoes with laces and carry a Swiss Army knife. So? He would probably take one shoelace out and say, this is four feet long, and at the speed of light, it would take four nanoseconds to go from one end to the other. Then, he would figure out a way to measure the total delay from the base station controller to the cell site. Is that supposed to be funny? You are two serious men. My eyes are up here. What?